Today, you're gonna to learn the steps to set the perfect price for your nutrition coaching service so more people sign up and you make more money. Before we go through all the steps around setting your price, it's always a good idea to check out what others are doing. So let's first talk about what the market values nutrition coaching at. And I've done all the heavy lifting for you here, so check this out. After training 200 plus nutrition coaches and working in this space for nearly a decade, I've seen a wide range of prices for online nutrition coaching. Some prices are so low that they won't work because when people pay, they pay attention. And some are so high that they only attract a certain type of person and take a few strategic type of steps to get them there. But just before we start talking about what's normal or average, let's make sure we're talking about the same thing. Most standard online nutrition coaching entails the following. Number one, an individualized assessment and approach. Number two, feedback outside of the set system is available, but it is somewhat limited. You can't just email your coach at 3 a.m. in the morning and expect a response. And number three, weekly check-ins with an email-based or a video-based response, but there's no live component. I'm making the distinction here because there are other forms of coaching that lie on either end of the spectrum. On one side, we have low ticket offers like informational products and eBooks and even group coaching. These don't really offer a personalized plan or individual feedback. A low ticket offer is anywhere between $1 and $99, so it's relatively inexpensive. Generally, this is a one-time purchase only, although there are some other offers that are month to month or subscription-based thing. Low ticket offers have their place, but obviously they're not as successful as a more hands-on approach. For the most part, this is because there's no real follow-through on the application of the information being provided. And you can't really expect that at this price point. But we also have the flip side, which is a high ticket coaching service. Usually this entails a more everything done for you type of coaching service with higher levels of feedback and support. But at the very high end, this can cost anywhere up to around $5,000 per month in the nutrition coaching space. In most cases, you're handling absolutely everything the client needs from programming to lifestyle to mindset based approaches. Obviously, this is best suited for very experienced coaches or someone with a specific niche, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. In this style, if I reach out to you about something pressing, I'm gonna expect a response in hours. But let's get back to reality for a second. Regardless of fulfillment, most clients are expecting you to take them from point A, which is where they are right now, all the way to point B, which is a specific result. In most cases, they don't really care how they get there, which is why we see a variety of different prices and approaches in this type of coaching. But in general, most online nutrition coaching costs anywhere between $100 to $500 per month. Anything less than that and you're generally not doing much coaching or you're over delivering to needy clients with not much results. Anything more than that price point and you will get better results because people are more bought in. But with much higher stakes comes much higher expectations and the requirement for completely dialed in marketing. But for most coaches, this medium ticket is the sweet spot. You can create a profitable business, work with anywhere between 10 and 50 clients and get good results in a growing business. So this is what the market expects for this type of nutrition coaching service. But, and here's a question, where does your nutrition coaching fall within this range? Let's work through the steps. Steps number two is gonna be your experience level. So one thing that should factor into how much you're charging for your nutrition coaching service is your experience level. I know for a lot of coaches, particularly the better you get at your job, sometimes the real, more you realize how much you don't know and you start to undervalue your coaching. But if you have a track record for success, you've gotten people results, you've been doing this for a long enough time, you deserve to earn more in your nutrition coaching service. And why is this? Because the more experience you have, the more certain you are about your approach. And results are pretty much all but guaranteed. And because of that, your clients know this and you should know it and you deserve to be paid more. So you gotta charge accordingly. But if you're relatively new to this stuff or you're an in-person coach and you're transitioning to inline, it's not a bad idea to stay at the lower end of this range. But a few things to keep in mind, it doesn't need to stay this way, especially as you reinvest in your education and your business, your prices can increase but your experience level should dictate how much you're charging for your service. And I know a lot of you intermediate to experienced coaches are undervaluing your service. So let this be an actual light bulb moment or a sign to charge more for your nutrition coaching. Another thing we'll talk a little bit later about the business is the actual demand for your service. Things don't need to be static. And when you have more demand, you can charge accordingly and charge more, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So this gives you a sense of where your price should fit within this range, depending on your experience level. Without knowing anything about you specifically, here's what I would encourage you to do. For beginner coaches, charging anywhere between 150 to $200 per month is a good start for your nutrition coaching. For intermediate coaches, say you've been doing this around a year and your coaching approach is completely dialed in, you must be charging anywhere between 200 to 300 dollars per month for my experience pro coaches doing this for three plus years meaning you've been around the block and you have a strong track record for success you'll find yourself charging between three to five hundred dollars per month so those are generally the tiers but there are some things that can move you up or down depending on your service which brings us to step three deliverables and commitment 
But we also want to consider what our coaching is actually providing someone. What is the commitment? What are they getting? What does it all entail? It's also important to assess how long is it actually taking you to deliver the coaching. One huge advantage to online coaching is that it's scalable. You don't have to be stuck in a gym working with someone over an hour period. You can deliver you know, coaching and get them a specific result and charge accordingly for that. And therefore you're no longer trading your time for money. So we need to remember that. You're charging based on your experience and the result you're helping someone to get, not how long it takes you. But we also need to factor in, you know, what is the actual commitment on our end so that things fall in line with professional wages and that type of thing. So here's how the numbers actually break down. If we don't have a live component to our coaching, being we can do everything on our own time, it takes us around one to two hours to set up a new client. And depending on how you coach someone and how experienced you are and how certain you are about your action steps and that type of thing, feedback in the weekly commitment around weekly check-ins should take you anywhere between one to three hours per month. So for most coaches, on average, this is anywhere between two to four hours per month per client. And if you think about an intermediate coach charging around $200 per month, this is anywhere between $50 to $100 per hour. So at a professional wage, this all makes sense. But if you find yourself in a situation where you're doing way less or way more, you should adjust your price accordingly. But we also need to factor in what is included in your coaching. Is it just nutrition coaching and that's the only thing you address? Or do you have other certifications and experiences where you're doing programming, exercise programming, as well as mindset coaching and lifestyle stuff? Are you delivering on that stuff as well? So if you're including all of those things and you're tackling exercise and mindset and it's all included in your program, that should cost more. One thing I wanna point out, and this is something that online coaches typically get wrong, is that when they're talking about their services, they talk about all the potential things someone should do. And when you present it that way, in terms of maybe you can do nutrition with me or nutrition and training or just training, people get confused because they have to make a decision. It's your job as a coach before you start working with them to talk about here's everything I do and the results I can deliver for you. Let's talk about what you need and go from there. That makes this process so much clearer and easier to understand from the client perspective. It's more or less apply to work with me and we'll talk about what you need versus here are all the things you could get. So although online coaching is a little bit different, you still need to think about what you're delivering and what the time commitment is for you and everything that your coaching includes when you're setting the price. So your experience level is not the only thing that dictates the price of your coaching service. It's also about what you give and what you provide. But there's something even more important that allows you to charge more. And it all comes down to niching down and becoming a specialist. Let's chat about that in step number four, which is niche. Okay, this is a big one when it comes to setting nutrition coaching pricing. It all comes down to niching down. And niching down is super important. And I know a lot of people, I've talked about this at length, but a lot of people think of as you niche down and get more specific, that you're gonna be leaving people out, that some people aren't gonna be able to access your services. Niching down, especially from a marketing and pricing standpoint, is important because it doesn't limit who you could work with. What it does do, it doesn't mean that you're excluding people from your coaching. What it does do is it allows you to market and attract a specific type of person a person that's going to see your content and they're gonna know that if I sign up to work with Coach Mark because I'm this type of person, he has all the experience working with these type of people, he knows the pain points and the struggles and the aspirations, he has worked with them before and it's almost certain, that's the biggest thing, is that they're certain that they're gonna get a specific result. All doubt is completely cast aside because you are the expert in this area. Think about this as a hierarchy, and this is something that I've talked about before. At the bottom of the hierarchy is everybody else. You're doing fat loss and muscle gain and a bunch of different outcomes. You're working with a bunch of different people in terms of demographics and where they're at. No consideration for what type of job they do or what kind of situation they find themselves in. You're down there with everyone else. And therefore, there's a lot of you. There's a lot of you down there. But as we start to work up this hierarchy, you become more specialized. You focus on specific pain point and result for a specific type of person. You become more in demand because your skill set is suited for that person as well as there's less of you. Think about a general practitioner doctor versus a brain surgeon. Right? There's only so many of the brain surgeons because they become more specialized, they focus on what they do, and they have a strong track record for results within that niche. So as we get more specific, 
the more we can charge. And niching down allows you to do that. So regardless if you're a beginner coach or more advanced, this is something that's important to do. If you think about the top of the hierarchy here, you think about fitness celebrities, you like literally can't work with them because they become so well known and specialized. Jillian Michaels, uh, someone like Brett Contreras around glute stuff, right? He's so specific and specialized that if you wanna work with him one-on-one, -on -one, you, there's a waiting list and you probably can't or you have to pay a lot of money to do it and that's what niching down and becoming more specialized allows you to do so we're starting to get a sense of what you should charge based on the market value deliverables time commitment as well as your niche but here's the wild card and it's demand for your service adjusting your price based on demand is what allows a good coaching business completely skyrocket and become great and your price doesn't need to be static let's talk about that in step number five which is demand all right, this is the game changer here, and this is what a lot of nutrition coaches and nutrition coaching businesses overlook or they aren't in tune with as they're growing their business. When your service is in demand, this is basic ec economics in terms of supply and demand. When it's in demand and you have less supply, you can charge more money for your service and you should. This is what takes good businesses and turns them into great businesses is that they ride this wave of demand and charge more and therefore prioritize the service more, learn more, get more experience, and the entire cycle continues. So when you have demand for your service and you've worked through a certain amount of people through your coaching service, you should charge more. Anywhere between, and this is roughly depending on your situation, anywhere between five to 10 new client signups you should consider increasing your prices. And I'm not kidding around that. Like it doesn't need to be, it can be incremental and nominal. It doesn't need to be huge, but we're thinking about 10, 15, $25 anytime we've worked a certain amount of people through our processes because we've become more experienced coaches, we've learned more, we're more likely to get a result. And if there's tons of demand for our service, we can ride these economic principles and make more money and continue to prioritize the service. You can take that money and reinvest into different things like business help or different certification or adding on another coach to handle certain things. And this is all, you know, factors into growing your business. And it's all because your prices weren't static. And when demand came in, you rode that wave and ran with it. And I've seen it time and time again. That's what takes coaches that are doing a good job and working with 40, 50 clients um, to you know, 20K per month businesses with multiple coaches and life-changing stuff, all because they worked within the demand of their services. So there you have it, your step-by-step -step guide for setting your price for your nutrition coaching services. I hope you found this helpful, regardless if you're a new coach and you're just recently certified and you're figuring out your systems, trying to figure out what to charge for your friends and your family and the people reaching out, or you're an OG nutrition coach looking for your next move and validation around what you're currently doing. I hope you found this valuable. Here's what I do know, and this applies to all of you. You got into nutrition coaching to help others, but you've also put a lot of effort into this, so you deserve to make some money. And you should because this is a nutrition coaching business. Plus you have to charge something because if you don't, your clients won't listen. Because remember, when people pay, they pay attention. So I hope you found this guide to pricing your nutrition coaching valuable. If you have any questions about your nutrition coaching price or your situation, drop them in the comments below and we'll chat. Now, as great as all those tips are, if you're really serious about starting a nutrition coaching business, the next thing I'll have you do is check out this video I've linked up right here. Now that you know how to set the perfect price, check out the ultimate guide to checking in with clients.